Hi, this is part of the Open Daylight 5 minutes tutorial and today we will be going through the ODL and Dissolve Cup example. Uh, and before we begin, I strongly encourage you to get this, repo this uh, Git repository so we can follow through with the example. And basically, the, this repository is based on the NDSAL toaster example, but in, uh, we are using a cup, a T and cup instead. So let's get started. Uh, before we go through uh, the Yang file and the code, let's look at uh, basically what uh, a very basic idea of what Open Delight is. So basically, Open Delight is a three-layer um, uh, project. The first layer would be the northbound, the middle would be the controller, and uh, the third layer would be the southbound. The way it works, in the controller we have a model, uh, which is store, which is called uh, MDSAL, and it's stored in form of a tree. So basically the uh, northbound uh, layer would be, um, <coughs> would, would be the provider to the, this model. So basically the northbound will change the model and the southbound would consume that model. That's, how, that's the idea behind it. So it's, it's using uh, Yang files to uh, generate that model and uh, provider consumer. So we will go through uh, today. For the sake of time, we will only go, th only go through the model, which would be the cup. And as you would see, uh, when you generate a, uh, the code with the, the Yang files, it generates code automatically. All those are only services or API that can be accessed. So let's go through the uh, cup.yang. First thing we define is a module cup, which would be the name of the, 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 mo the module or the, the data. And this would be the first thing would be the header. And the uh, header is used to generate the code. So basically uh, we can see the revision here and the, uh, the uh, namespace here. So basically it creates, auto creates a package and then auto creates all this code based on what's in the Yang file. The second section we want to go through is the identity. Identity can be seen as Pojo uh, Java or plain old Java objects. In this case, we would have a base and identity would be a T type and every other identity would uh, extend, uh, which if we want to use uh, Java or uh, OP uh, terminology, these would extend the T type. And let's go through the, let's check this out really quick in the code. So if you look at green tea, the green tea would extend T type. And so this, this is what uh, this section define here. So green tea base T type. So that means that it extend the T type. The next section you want to see is the type depth for display string. So this is basically to, uh, um, to tell uh, the maximum length of the display, display string of the t-type. And the next section would be the container. And this is where we define a cup. So basically we have a module cup and then we have a container cup. This is where we define everything. The cup would use the t and yeah. So the cup in it, we have a manufacturer and a cup model number, a cup status and uh, time, uh, multipli uh, time multiplic uh, multiplication factor. And basically, what the one of the sections that's very important is this. This means that the cup is available as a service in, op in the uh, MDSOL tree and that this is the, the parent of uh, everything that's going to be using that model. So, yeah. The next thing you want to see is the RPC uh, section. Oh, before we go on, so the cup, this section here, the container cup would generate a cup, a Java uh, class, basically. And as you can see, it's also an interface. So we could see cold heating, and we can see the cup status, uh, and uh, get cup manufacturer, get cup model number, and everything. So this corresponds to the everything that's in the container cup. The next thing you want to check is the uh, RPC heat cup. So everything that's in the RPC section 
uh, would be action that would be applied to the cup. And we can see when we generate that code, it would generate a, a cup service that would expose the RPC services that are defined in the Yang file. So if we go check the cup service, as you can see, it's also an interface and we can see uh, the RPC definition in the Yang file that have, that have been uh, auto -gener automatically generated here. So also this, uh, this service are exposed to the restconf API. For those of you who are not familiar, it's only a, uh, uh, you can post, uh, send post requests to the restconf API of uh, whatever, whichever machine is running the controller. And if you um, <coughs> specify that you want to heat a cup, then you would input the cup temperature and a T type, and it would perform the uh, the action that you requested. But remember, this is only the model, so there is no implementation whatsoever. So if you were to use it, nothing would happen. We would only see what we we could only see, for instance, the cup status. Uh, next up, we have also an RPC, which is cancel cup, and RPC restop uh, cup, which, which also are APIs that are store uh, that are accessible via restconf. And then we have the notification, and the not notification is basically uh, uh, when there are no more uh, cups available or when you we restock the cups. And so the notification are also uh, generate also generate some code, which would be APIs for no more cups and uh, cup restock. In the next tutorial, this is the end of this tutorial. The next tutorial we will be going through the um, cup provider, which would be the implementation uh, of this uh, model, uh, so we can actually do something with. Uh, with basically the RPC and the notification. See you then.